Hello friends, this video on our environment part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, we saw that ecosystems are a major component of the environment. But as I told at the beginning of this lesson that these days we are facing a lot of environmental problems. We often get to hear about um, different types of um, agendas, different types of um, meetings to protect our environment. So what are these environmental problems which are actually becoming a threat to the, existing of living, the existence of the living organisms? And the point is, how do we contribute to the environmental problems? What are we doing? Because it, it is seen that mostly it is human beings who are responsible for spoiling the environment. So how are we actually contributing or how are we adding to the problems of the environment? When I talk of our contribution, the first thing that comes to our mind is the disposal of wastes. So you would have seen that there, there is so much of waste that comes out of your house, not only your house, even out of your room, your room itself, you will have so many waste papers, you will have your use and throw pens. So you will have so many things which are waste for you. So you will put them all in the dustbin present in your room. Similarly, there will be so much of waste materials coming out of your kitchen. Right? And similarly, you will have so many dustbin placed inside each room of your house. And finally, from your house will come out a lot of waste. So similarly, these kind of waste comes from everybody's house and that's how this entire waste gets created. Now, how we dispose of this waste? What kind of waste materials we actually come out with? So they all add to the environmental problems. Right? The kind of materials which we use in our day-to-day -day life actually decides what kind of waste materials will come out of my house. For example, let us suppose if I am using too, ma too many papers, so the waste materials will also consist of papers. If I am using too many plastic bottles, so the when those bottles become uh, waste, I mean when they are not good in a good condition to keep things, so we will throw them off, right? So they will become the waste materials. So disposal of waste is a concern. Because the kind of waste which we are throwing actually matters a lot. So we will talk about this in detail. Next is ozone layer depletion. So I think this is a new term for you. What is ozone? What is ozone layer? And what after all we mean by ozone layer depletion? So again, we will talk about this topic also in detail. That what is ozone layer and how is it causing problem to the environment? And how are we responsible for the depletion of this ozone layer? Extinction of wildlife. You would have seen that there are so many animals which used to exist before and gradually they became extinct. Let us take the example of dinosaurs. They Dinosaurs used to exist once upon a time, but gradually they vanished. Similarly, these days also you will get to hear about certain birds and animals which are on the verge of extinction. So why are they becoming extinct? Now, what harm does it cause to our environment if certain animals become extinct? Now, now can you answer this question after we have studied the food chain? So in the food chain and in the food web, you saw that all animals in one way or the other depend on some other animals. So now out of that food chain, if you imagine that any one group of animals become extinct. For example, when I, if I talk about maybe goats, if all the goats vanish, do you think that it will not cause any problem to the ecosystem? Will it not cause any problem to the food chain? It will cause because there are so many animals who are dependent on goats for their food. So those animals will not get their food. Similarly, goats feed on so many things like goats feed on plants. So when those, those so many number of goats will suddenly vanish, so the, so the consumers of plants will also decrease. So that means the population of the plant will also increase. So this will cause a disbalance in the ecosystem. So there will be too many plants and there will be no goats for higher animals to feed upon for example if if i say that the lions used to feed on goats so if there are no go no goats in the forest now so the lions will start starving there is nobody to eat upon so the lions will start starving and suddenly one fine day even the lions will keep dying so the lions will also become extinct so if 
a particular group of animals is becoming extinct that is also a an issue for the environment because the environment wants everything to be balanced they want all kind of living organisms to be present in a desirable number then unnecessary usage of energy you would have seen that there are so many people maybe let us take your example you go to your school maybe in your neighborhood there are five children who go to the same school but how do they go to their school each of them go by their own car so don't you think you are wasting energy yes you are because when you are using your car you are actually unnecessarily wasting the petrol which is driving your car from where is that petrol coming that is nothing but it is these are the sources of energy when we uh, learned the lesson on sources of energy in class 9 we have discussed all these things in detail right let resources of energy the sources are limited our population is increasing if we do not make judicial use judicious use of energy a day will come when there will be no source of energy we will not be able to produce energy at all right so we should not waste energy unnecessarily for example in this case instead of each children each child traveling by his or her own car the five of them together can travel by a bus so there is just one vehicle and all of them can go together and reach their school so that is a better option in that case you are saving a lot of energy similarly excessive use of pesticides so the, the, these pesticides or insecticides they actually help in killing the pests and insects and thereby improve the crop production and crop yield but when you start using too much of pesticides what would happen these pesticides will get accumulated in the soil or they will get accumulated in the water so that entire water get will get polluted so the soil will get polluted and this water or soil can enter into the food chain and they can harm so many animals because as i said just now that the food chain is all related right so these excessive use of pesticides is also harming the environment <coughs> by causing <clears throat> pollution uh, as well as by harming the living organisms industrialization this is another important factor which is harm which is harming the environment <clears throat> the products coming out of the industries for example the gases the undes will cause a lot of air pollution the waste materials coming out of the industries also cause a lot of problems to the environment so <clears throat> with the modernization or with too much of industrialization it, it has been found that we have actually added to a lot of environmental problems moreover to set up industries many a times it is seen that people will cut down forests they'll cut down the trees and they'll set up industries so what is happening <clears throat> first of all we are cutting down trees so we are anyways causing an imbalance to the food chain because you see producers are so very important in the food chain so if there are no producers we nobody will get food because every living organism is at the end of the day dependent on the producers for their food so when we are cutting down forests we are actually ending up the producers now when the producers are getting ended up and on top of that we are set, setting factories there which is causing air pollution water pollution and soil pollution so we are actually harming the environment so these are some of our actions which actually add up to the environmental problems now in this lesson some of these we have already discussed in our class 9th lessons for example the use of pesticides the usage of en energy all these things we have already uh, studied in class 9 so in this lesson we will focus only on the first two things that is the disposal of wastes and the ozone layer depletion so we will concentrate on these two issues in this lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again